two more definitions. First off, you've got the definition of a frequency table. That's a table used to group data values into intervals. A table used to group data values into intervals. And a histogram, that's a graph that displays data from a frequency table. There's one bar for each interval. graph that displays data from a frequency table. There's one bar for each interval. Now hopefully you remember these from last year. If you don't, I'm going to refresh your memory right now. These are basically bar graphs. The only difference is the bars touch. Otherwise it's almost the exact same thing. There's one extra step we have to do, but otherwise it's the exact same thing. I need a minute to get ahead of me again. Okay, so using a three inch interval, make a frequency table to represent heights of students. And they've given you all those heights to work with five foot three, five foot seven, five foot two, five foot six, four foot nine, five foot seven, five foot six, five foot nine, four foot eight, five foot four, and five foot five. If you don't want to copy those down, okay, if you want to, that would be good too. Okay, here's how you start. You have to make the frequency table first. What's a frequency table? Find your smallest height first. What's the smallest height in that entire set that's on the board? Donovan. Um, four, four foot eight. Four foot eight, okay? From four foot eight, you're gonna set up three inch intervals, okay? so. We start with four foot eight. Okay. A three inch interval would have four foot eight, four foot nine, and four foot ten. And we go through the list until we hit our largest height. What's the largest height in the list? Dale? Five foot nine. Five foot nine. So I have to get it up so it goes up to or over five foot nine, okay? So, if I start the next interval at 4 foot 11, and that one would have 4 foot 11, 5 foot, 5 foot 1. If I start the next interval at 5 foot 2, where would it end? To 5 foot what? 3 four. inches. What? Four. 5 foot 4, good. The next one would go five foot five to five foot what? Three inches. Five foot five to five foot seven. Seven, good. And the last one is five foot eight to five foot five foot ten, good. Now all you do is you just represent each height with the category it goes with. Okay, so for instance, this first foot height over here is five foot three. So in the group that would have five foot three in it, I put a mark. Five foot seven would be in the five five to five seven category, so I put a mark. Five foot two would be in the five foot two to five foot four group. Do you see what I'm doing? Okay. You go through the whole list and do that. So five foot six is in this group. Four foot nine is in this top group. Five foot seven in the five five to five seven. Five foot six, same thing. Five foot nine, bottom group. Four foot eight, top group. Five foot four, five two five four group. Five foot five. That. That's how you make the frequency table part. That's all you've got to do. In a lot of the problems, it'll tell you what interval to use. 
Like if it says use a five inch interval, then each group has to be five inches exactly. Understand that? Boy, you're going to have an exciting year, I can tell. I'm just so happy to be here. Yeah. Okay, so now we set up our bar graph. Okay, same setup. Give it a title. Don't be too creative. No, it's not about <laughs> tall people. Kirk. Students' heights. Students' heights would be much better. <laughs> I'm not sure, Dale, but I don't think a four foot eight person is a tall person. It's tall Unless they're compared to a midget, people. maybe. But. <laughs> Dude, that is like a midget's height. Oh boy, is this apostrophe S or S apostrophe? I think it's S apostrophe. We'll put an edit in with Miss Albers at the end. Okay, so now across the bottom goes your categories. I don't care how you put the categories in. Okay, uh, some people like to just do this. Put a letter next to each one over here, and then put letters in at the bottom, which I'm fine with. It is difficult to write like four foot eight to four foot ten. It gets old after a while. So you might want to just do the letter. Not quite. Enough. Okay. Up the left side goes the numbers that we came up with over here. Okay. These numbers. So you can see the biggest one is this group of five. So we just have to go zero, one, two, three, four, five. And if you want to be the ultimate lazy, I suppose you could go by two. So Okay, and then you just bar them in. Again, the only difference is the bars touch. Okay, they start at the left side and they touch the whole way across. So this first one has two people in it. The B group doesn't have anybody, so I'm going to put a line right on top of the line so you can see that there should be a bar there. The C group has three people in it. The D group had five people in it. And the E group had just one. There you go. Obviously, it takes me a lot longer than it's going to 